One of your guests here has information related to the case I'm currently investigating. That would be you, Yagami. Hmm? I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintan. Is that so? Good boy, Gizmo. Good boy, Gizmo. You good boy, Gizmo. The mole's latest victim was the lawyer, Shintani. The last call he made brings the case that ruined Yagami three years ago back to the surface. A patient was taken from a hospital and found buried in the mountains. Yagami defended the suspect. What do you think, Gizmo? I'll help Gizmo. And got an acquittal. I'll help Gizmo. One month later, he murdered his girlfriend, Emi Terasawa, with a kitchen knife and burned the remains. Oh, hell, Gizmo. Chapter 6, Collusion. Oh, Gizmo. Oh, Gizmo, you're such a good boy. I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintan. Is that so? I'm Hoshino, an attorney at Genda Law Office. Okay, Gizmo. Officer, Say is this everybody. interview voluntary or...? It is. It's your call, Yagami-san. I think I'll pass. Excuse me? You have your answer, sir. You can go now. You can make this easier if you come now. Next time, it won't be voluntary. Your empty threats don't mean much to a lawyer. Can you take this elsewhere? I really must be... Too bad he's not a lawyer anymore, then. Your friend's nothing now. Just come along quietly. I'll come back with a warrant if I have to. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Why do you suspect me anyway? I bet you don't even have a reason. I can come up with a few good ones. Enough! Get the hell out of my office! you regret this, Yagami. Kuroiwa-san. <sighs> that guy looks like a real crab. You two, out. Before we go, can we speak to Shono-san for a sec? We need to know why Shintani called him. Listen, I already told you he doesn't know. Get it through your skull. Now, please leave. No problem. We'll let you get back to work. This is really getting out of hand, don't you think? I can't believe that detective thinks you're a material witness. I mean, yeah. they found the body in his about. office. But what I'm more interested in is how he even knew where to find me. That's a good point. How would the police know we were here? Beats me. For now, let's focus on Shona, though. It would be a waste coming here and not talking to him. Agreed. Let's see if the receptionist can help us. She's not gonna tell us shit. Can I help you? Actually, I've already been here. I was just with Director Kido, remember? Um, oh, of course. Did you forget something, sir? Well, not exactly. I'd actually like to speak to Shono-san, the 89 researcher. Where would I be able to find him? Let me see. Uh, that should be the research wing. I believe he's in the protein abnormalities lab. Probably need a gold key card to get in there, huh? That's correct, sir. I should be able to lend you one with the director's approval, though. Just give me a moment to ask. Could you tell me your name, sir? Actually, uh, never mind. Kido-san seemed pretty busy earlier. I'll try back later. Are you sure, sir? Good call. There's no chance Kido-san would let us in. At least now we know where Shono is. The research room. Yeah. I wonder if there's a map around here somewhere. What the? The 
the service entrance parking lot. All the delivery people come in and out through here. This is where Okubo's truck was parked three years ago. The service entrance parking lot. This is where... Director Kido's office. We were just in there. <laughs> this leads to the research wing. The receptionist said he would be in the protein abnormalities lab, right? Huh. Well, I guess that's not on this map. Uh-huh. Suspicious. Hey. What the... This is where we are now, the ADDC lobby. <laughs> Some kind of security gate, huh? The research wing must be just past there. Um, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. This is one of Shono-san's researchers. She was just about to return to the lab. Oh? My name's Hashimoto. I can show you into Dr. Shono's lab if you'd like. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> Great. We'll take you up on that. Wonderful. Hashimoto-san just happened to be passing through. Thank you. Right this way. Yep, Bob is yellow. Arcane is orangish yellow. Really it's Hashimoto san. I'm Yagami. And I'm Hoshino from the Genda Law Office. Thank you for doing this. Oh, don't mention it. I'm glad to help a guest of Director Kido's. This place is so massive, you practically need a tour guide to get around. I hope you're okay with walking. Oh, thank So, Hashimoto san, what kind of work do you yourself do here? I'm part of the team developing 89. Dr. Shono is the head of that team, but I'm pretty new around here. Speaking of, what exactly does AD9 stand for? Well, the AD comes from the name of the center. The Advanced Drug Development Center, ADDC. And it's the ninth drug our department's developed. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Yeah, it's very mustardy now. Mustardy. It'll be the first dementia curing drug on the market, right? Seems like it's really getting fast tracked because of that. But there's a lot riding on this one, right? It could finally cure Alzheimer's disease. That's right. Do you know how many dementia patients there are in Japan alone? A couple hundred thousand at least. Maybe even in the millions? Right. As of 2012, there were 4.62 million. That many? Damn. By 2025, that number will increase to at least 7 million. Potentially up to 13 million, including at-risk patients. That's one in every nine people. Yikes. Dementia is fucking horrifying, However, man. However, as a nation, we're already at capacity in caring for these patients. In fucking cases, horrifying. Over 60 are stuck looking after their dementia-struck parents in their own homes. Worldwide, it's estimated there will be 135 million patients by the year 2050. It's staggering. Ugh. In other words, AD9 could save the world. This could be a real miracle. I gotta say, uh, this is making me feel kind of bad about how we treated Kido-san back there. Director Kido will go down in history if we achieve this. A golden a shower, Nine? Three years. The bastard's really made a name for himself. Be nice. Be nice. Yeah, a golden shower. We know. Golden shower. Dr. Shona was right over there. Well, if you'll excuse me. Shono-san. Yagami-san? But uh, how did you get in here? Hey, calm down. I just want to talk. 
I, I can't do that. Kido-san doesn't know you're here, does he? Is there a problem? Ah, oh, Ichinose-san. Uh, well, I... Uh... I've never heard you raise your voice, Shono-san. Aren't you the guy from the lobby? My name is Ichinose. I'm here from the Ministry of Health, offering political support to AD9's development. You guys got a hell of a jaw, man. Kirosan called you vice minister. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Pretty lofty for a vice minister. You can boss scientists around, but I'm not biting. So I see. Shonosan, please. I just need a few minutes to talk. We'll leave right after we're done, promise. I already told you I, I can't. Not without Kido san here. I need you to tell me. Why did Shintani call you? Shintani? I've never heard that name in my life. This is important, Shono. You have to have some idea. Please, I, I don't. Now get out of here. I'm calling Director Kido. Do what you want. Just let me ask you one thing first. <sighs> You seem awfully deferent towards Kido-san. I mean, you won't even talk to me if the guy's not here. So why are you so afraid of him? Well, given how much tax money is going into the development of AD-9, it's become quite a political matter. As such, the director is being extremely cautious about leaks. But I'm not here to talk about AD-9. I need to know why Shintani called you. And I already told you I don't know. Now please, let me get back to work. What the? What are you doing here? Kido-san. I believe I told you to leave. What about that didn't you understand? I wanted to ask about Shintani's call. About which I already said Shono doesn't know anything. And I needed to hear that from him, not you. Enough. Call security. We were just leaving. Come on, Hoshinokun. I'll be filing a complaint with the Bar Association under the Minister's name. The Minister of Health? <laughs> That's right. Minister Kazami expects great things from AD9. <laughs> he won't tolerate distractions from your. That's age. something, Arcane. That's something. I feel like we came up empty-handed. Why would Shintani-sensei have called Shono-san? Yagami-san? That wasn't the first time I've heard about Minister Kazumi. Huh? When it's was it? not for me, uh, Toasty. He's Who's yellowy. Who's talking to me about the Ministry of Health? must have been Ayabe, when we were drinking over at Tender. I definitely remember him mentioning Minister Kazumi. We were talking about how the Kyore clan ended up in Kamurocho. Apparently, they're being used as muscle for a construction company called the Kajihira Group. A while back, Chairman Kajihira himself was going around, laying the political groundwork for a Tokyo revamp project. And one of the people he met with was Naohisa Kazumi from the Ministry of Health. Huh. You'd think he'd go to the Ministry of Land, though. This project has nothing to do with health. What would he gain from meeting Kazumi? That's true. Do you think it has to do with our case somehow? <laughs> Mr. Kazumi's name won't stop coming up. Is that just coincidence or something more? I don't know. Depends on what the two of them are talking about. In that case, maybe our Kajihira expert can help us out with that. Who? Sugiura-san. He used to work for them, remember? Oh, yeah. Fix it, Arcane. Fix it good. So, you want to know how Kajihira and Kazumi are connected? Yeah. Any way you can find that out? 
Not really sure, but I'll give it a shot. Thanks. You're still at the ADDC, yeah? Just give me some time. I'll call you if I find anything. He's like yellowy brown. He's like diarrhea colored now. Oh, Yagami-san. Um, I'm gonna head back to the office. I just got an email from Saori-san. Apparently, a journalist named Hattori barged into the office. Says he wants to interview you. Me? It sounds like he's looking into Shintani Sensei's murder, too. Anyway, I'll go ahead and drive him off. <laughs> You'll begin to Sensei's ace attorney before you know it. Nah. That's a dis know if if your poop that. is that color, it's disconcerting. Honestly, why? <laughs> too much responsibility for a guy my age, you know? <laughs> I, I think I make a much better sidekick for now. <laughs> okay. But when that gets old? I don't know that it will. Being a professional sidekick for the rest of my life sounds okay to me. <laughs> I'll see you later. Professional sidekick. Guess I'm on standby till uh, Sugura gets in touch with me. Let's go to this place. They always have shit in here. The fuck is this? Excuse, excuse me, but do you have a minute? Hmm? What is it? Let me introduce myself. My name is Shin Fujimori. Have you ever thought about investing, sir? Huh? Honestly, I think you're better off talking about that sort of thing with someone who actually has money. Er, well, I say investment, but nowadays anyone could do it as long as they have a smartphone. You can invest on your phone? Of course. Ever heard of crowdfunding? It's where you gather online donations from all over the world. It's become a big trend in the past few years. Wow. And to streamline this process, we developed an app called Quickstarter. You can invest however much you want to whoever you wish, whenever you like. All from the comfort of your phone. Well, it sounds easy enough, but the hard part, you know, is actually having money. Indeed. That's why millions of people make micro-investments with Quickstarter. Only a small donation is needed. And even small donations make a big difference. They all add up to help a campaign reach various milestones. Finally, once a campaign meets its goal, everyone who invested gains priority benefits. Priority benefits. Can you give me an example? Let's see. For starters, you can get special products shipped to you, or you'll gain access to brand new facilities. Hmm. That sounds pretty neat. <laughs> Doesn't it? I'll tell you this much. I once started up a company of my own, but I had a hard time raising the necessary funds. And wouldn't you know it, I got everything I needed from a crowdfunding platform I signed up with overseas. That's why I created this app, to help other entrepreneurs worldwide. Wow. So you're the president of a company? Oh, it's quite small, so it's not really big a big deal. Anyways, the point of my story is, please try using Quickstarter for yourself sometime. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'll at least install... Oh, God, what is that? Toasty is a MILF. Toasty is a MILF. Toasty is, toasty is, toasty is a MILF. Toasty is a magical MILF. Toasty is a magical MILF, guys. That's what that song says, at least. I don't know. I wasn't even trying to talk to this guy, Toasty. Please do. And by all means, let me know how it goes. Let me see this app. Plug bomb energy drink. Super motor. Don't care about any of that. I don't know, let's try this one. It's interesting. Damn it. 
I may have, I wasn't even I was on this street and somehow they really really do Toasty and I'm just like a lot of cat food man A lot of cat food. That's helpful, Odious. Doors are nice. So, what else do they want me to get with this fucking drone shit? I don't even know what this means. Propeller. Let's look at the motor. And then I think I'm done investing for now. fun how much health do I have I'm full health okay none of my doors stays shut is my problem Um, hey, there's Kaido-san. Looks like he's with someone he knows. What's up? Hey, Kaido-san. This is a friend uh, This is a friend of yours? Talk. Oh, hey, Tak. This is Adachi. He and I go all the way back to middle school. Adachi, this is Tak Yagami. This guy I've been telling you about. Oh, the man himself. Kaido never shuts up about you. I'm Hayato Adachi. Adachi is state president and director? I take it you own the company? Yeah, but it's still pretty small. We hadn't talked in years, but we ended up randomly crossing paths the other day. <laughs> now I've got a few a new drinking buddy. I would meant to introduce you earlier, but you know. Ah, no problem. Uh, in fact, we were about to grab a beer together. Want to tag along, Tak? The more the merrier, uh -huh. I say. Right now, this is all so sudden. Come on, jackass. We're going to Tinder. They're going to Tinder, guys. Time for Tinder. <laughs> Adachi here was one of the smartest kids in the school, you know, even back then. So you were an honor student, huh? Nah, he's blowing it out of proportion. I tested well, but I was also a little punk, always picking fights. The teachers hated me. <laughs> ha ha. And that's the and that's the story of how we started getting along. Adachi and I were always teaming up to kick some some neighborhoods uh, wannabe gangs asses. He was the brain, I was the brawn. We were a hell of a tag team, right? <laughs> Yeah, scary alone, unstoppable together. When you and I hit the streets together, it was bad news. To this day, I don't think I've ever met a guy I'd rather have on my team than Kaido-san. Ha, it's nice to be appreciated, but no need to lay it on that thick. Oh, that's fine. Besides, you've got a new partner now. You mean me? Ha, Tak, my partner, we're a good team, pretty good team, but... Partners? What do you think, Tak? Hmm. I don't know. I always thought of you as a colleague, but I guess partner works too. <laughs> hmm. You got me, son. I hate to ask this out of the blue, but do you think I could borrow Kaito for a bit? Hmm? Oh, some kind of job thing? Exactly. I was going to visit you at your office to ask this, but nah, here's fine. 
But what does a real estate firm need a lug like Kaito for uh, around for? Ha, huh? about that. I need a bodyguard. Oh, Yo. what's all this about, Adachi? Yeah, you wouldn't think real estate would have uh, such physical demands. But Kamarucha's market has been attracting rough types for years, and they hate newcomers like me. When you say rough types, you mean Yakuza? Yeah, it's a never-ending cycle of fights, protection money, and scare tactics. And that's why you need a bodyguard? Yes, but only if it wouldn't cause any trouble for you. I know you must be drowning in yep. cases. Not really. I understand, though, and I'm fine with it as long as Kaido-san is. Mm. Yeah, she's still here, Nine. Yeah, no problem, but I'm not l uh, giving you a fr any friendly discounts, Adachi. Of course. How does 80k per day sound to you, you got me, son? That's like 80, 800 bucks a day? Yep. No issue here. Incredible. I really appreciate how flexible you've been about this. And Kaito, it looks like our little tag team rides again, eh? I'm looking forward to this, partner. Mm. Yeah? Heh. <laughs> this sure brings me back. Glad to be aboard. Something like that, Odious. That shirt, man. I love the detail and like you can see the leather cracking in his jacket. Nice. Kaito san seems to really be enjoying having found his old buddy. Hayato Adachi, huh? I should have his company's business card in my case file and that'll give me his address. Maybe I should check in on him. She's in her bed. What part? I mean, maybe. No, because he doesn't die because he's in the other game. What's up, buddy? Waba, thank you. What's up, buddy? Wee, thank you for that raid, buddy. I hope you had a good st Genshin ad, no! Not an ad. What were you playing, Cleve? Fights and tight Oh, that's the game with the the uh, the uh, the soundtrack that uh, Zeke loved. It's okay. Bad Dragon ad. <laughs> I mean, Bad Dragon ad sounds good. Also, Cleve, how's your stream, man? How's uh, tights and fight spaces? That game seems pretty cool. Watching Zeke play it when he did. Oh, hey, Suko, uh, Sukumo. What brings you to it out into the real world? <laughs> Thank you for bringing the raid over, though, Cleve. Welcome all. If you don't know me, I'm Rod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. I stream a lot of things. I've been going through the Yakuza games right now, so. <laughs> Just something that piqued my curiosity. What could possibly be curious about that? A search engine couldn't tell you. Oh, it picked up on this electromagnetic wave that w with a weird frequency. It's not a normal radio or taxi mm -hmm. or anything. How's fights in tight spaces going, Cleve? Going good? An electromagnetic wave? <laughs> Don't make me explain it. He, <laughs> I was bored anyway, so I figured I'd come check it out. You've got, you've got to be the only guy who would leave his house to check out an electromagnetic wave. Huh? Block number. Is this the bomber again? Should I answer it? Who are you? Ha ha ha! Shall we get straight to it? You got me, son. Hey. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, Cleve. How many times do we need to go through this? You have a grudge against me or something? A grudge? You're the only one who started this, you got me, son. You disarmed the first bomb, remember? It would have gone off without a hitch, but you just had to go and play hero. 
That game seems pretty cool. I mean, you're out of your damn mind. Toasty, you're a superhero. Shut up. No more talk. Let's do this. There's a new bomb in Kamarucho. Just one. Stop it if you can, dumbass. Oh, Cleve. Nine, thank you. Nine less lives gifted a tier one sub to Cleve the land. Nine, thank you for gifting a sub to Cleve. Cleve, hope you enjoy the emotes. There's gizmos and all those things in there. So welcome to that. By right, I'll hail gizmo. <laughs> thank you, Nine, for your generosity. Your hint is the pigeon coos among the cherry blossoms. <sighs> He's got more and more cryptic. What does that even you mean? Me, you seem kind of tense, Yagami. Uh, she, Yaga, Yagami, she. <laughs> what are you talking to? Sorry. Sukumo, don't have time to explain. See you later. <laughs> I wasn't asking because I was curious. I asked because that electromagnetic wave I was tracking just spiked. Huh? huh? Hmm. Could be a coincidence, but I think you're up to something. You got me, she. Listen, Sukumo, somewhere in Kamarujo, there's a bomb set to blow in the next five huh? minutes. A bomb? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Remember that explosion a little while back? The culprit keeps calling me. <laughs> ah, now it all makes sense. <laughs> Naturally. Fascinating. This electromagnetic wave is probably your bomb. Seriously? Can you see uh, use the signal to track down where it is? Hee <laughs> hee. Easy peasy. You should still probably go stop it, though. But speaking of magnets, you're a real magnet for trouble, you got me, she. Hee <laughs> hee. Quiet, you. The crazy shit has been finding me. Anyways, make it happen, Sukumo. All right. While Sukumo handles that, I need to figure out this pigeon cooing and the cherry blossoms. Yeah, what the fuck does that mean? Cherry blossoms? I don't fucking know, man. A park? I don't fucking know, man. You're a beautiful soul, Nine. Where the fuck are we going? I want a steam deck. I already have a stream deck, but where the fuck would trees be? I have no fucking clue where I'm going. I would like to get a steam deck. I've had too many other priorities. Yeah, I know, but there's like... That's why I went to the children's park, and then... What the f I mean, like, could be down here? Really? Doing this. Let's go. Chinko ball. Uh, let's go into this disc. I mean, is there something here? I don't know. Little Asia? We want to go into Little Asia? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it, there's a lot of just, like, doing random shit. Popo? Pink Street? I gotta get out of here to see the fucking map. God damn it. Where 
Where's Pink Street? Pink Street, Pink Street. Okay, there, we're going down there then. That makes sense too. Yeah, there's a lot of random shit. Like I, it depends on the game that I, in the series, Cleve. That I'm like, how much I'm gonna do side stuff. Like, I've been doing a lot of the side quests in this one because it's like interesting with the uh, with all the like helping people and like getting money for it. But yeah, I'm loving this one, Cleve. It's interesting and cool. As I run into shit. The pink street's the next one over. The pigeon coo is amongst the cherry blossom. It has to be the post po on pink street, right? Where's the bomb? There it is. There, I found it. Just got to rip the cord like last time. What does he do with the bombs after doing that? That should do it. The countdown has stopped. Excuse me, sir. What exactly are you doing? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. What, what are you holding? Is that a bomb? Ah! No, wait. This isn't. Ah, you're the bomber, aren't you? Please, somebody help. Hey, no. Calm down. I'm a detective. A bomber. Indeed. This man is not a bomber, not at all. Sukumo, good timing. Did you track the guy down? <laughs> Did you even doubt it? Hee <laughs> hee. It's that guy. The electromagnetic waves are coming straight from him. What? <laughs> ha ha ha. Not bad, you two. Quite the detective. You. I'm tired of your games. And the cops are going to want to discuss a few things, so you're coming with me. Don't take another step. You see this? Where the f- How? He had a shirt on. Shit. Ha ha ha, quite a sight, isn't it? You see, I am the last bomb. What are you trying to pull? What are you gonna do? What do you gain by blowing yourself up? This town's security is trash, and I need to make them see that. What do you mean? Well, this guy was apparently fired from a security firm three months ago. Does that answer your question? You're fast, and yes, I'm going to teach these money grubbing sons of bitches a lesson they won't soon forget. I gave everything to I had to the city. I created a detailed proposal to revamp the entire city's security, and they just laughed at the cost. It's clear that these assholes won't do shit until something serious happens. You can talk all you want, but I think we both know all you, you really want is revenge. Good luck, Arcane. Revenge has nothing to do with it. I'm sacrificing myself to show the people of Kamarucho the truth. And with that, bombs away! No, stop. He must have blocked his, like... Huh? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I think not, sir. I'm afraid that won't work. I hacked into your transmitter and changed the frequency. What? <laughs> You're done. Come quietly. Hell no. I'm not going... I'm not going down without a fight. Out of the way. I, I I would feel a little weird about uh, punching a bomb, but maybe that's me. Kicked in the face! Punch the bomb. Kick the bomb. Thank God that's over. <laughs> Yeah. We now go to breaking news. The man suspected of bombing the incident in Kamarucho has finally been apprehended. 
The suspect, Ryu Asaka, a 34-year-old convenience store employee, was fired from his security firm earlier this year. According to police, the rejection of Asaka's security proposal was the motive for his actions. Asaka's private residence has been searched. We are told some ex explosive devices have been deactivated. Well, it sounds like this is all wrapped up. I owed you one, Sukumo. Known at all. That was like something straight out of a video game. Well, you hungry? It's my treat. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> not. Nah, no need, you got me. I've actually got a date with a lady friend of mine. What? Seriously? I fixed an issue she was having with her phone at the Net Cafe, and she was so grateful we're having dinner. Hee <laughs> hee. Damn. For real? And you're going dressed like that? She's weird, you got me. She likes me just the way I am. Even said I was cute. Hee 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 hee. Wow. Are you some kind of ladies man in your circles, Sukumu? Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> what can I say? I must be sitting on I must be sitting on that five key because my ass is refreshing. Oh, for next time I'm letting you get blown up. Huh. Who's this from? You got me some. Come quick. One of my friends got hurt real bad at, by a Kihan gang leader who said he was looking for you. He's got his whole crew with him, so please be careful. But I believe in you. I believe you could save us. Crap, what do I do? Ah, oh, so I gotta go this way. There you are, Yagami. Today's the day. Smear you into the pavement once and for all. Get ready to eat some street fuckface. Some mid-Atlantic on it. Eat traffic on dickwad. Oh, nice, Nine. That sounds fun. All right, we're here. Huh? Don't push me, you shithead. Well, if it isn't Kasai himself, you actually caught the guy. Yep. Yagami. Mind explain what the hell you were doing here, you gotta me? Not at all. You owe Turtle Financing 800 grand, remember? This gentleman here got so tired of waiting, he asked me to collect for him. Even turtles can't for, uh, wait forever. What? So you're his lapdog now? How pathetic. Kasai, we already know you have the money. I'm surprised you haven't blown it at every high-end soap land in town by now. You think you got me figured out, huh? Well, what if I just said fuck it to paying back the money? So that's how it's going to be? Then I guess we'll need a, to a pay a very special visit to a very special place. Wait, where did you think you're taking me? The courtroom, of course. Oh, wait, didn't you know I was a certified lawyer? Here, check out this badge. Well, hot shit, right? You're a goddamn lawyer? Jeez, what don't you do? Apparently a lot less than you. Debt evasion is probably just the tip of the iceberg for a leader of the Kai Hin gang. What? Huh? You heard me. With a record like yours, you'll be out of a courtroom behind bars so fast it'll make your head spin. Yeah. No, wait. Don't do this to me. All I need to do is pay, right? Yagami-san. Wow, Yagami-san. You practically had him begging for mercy there. That alone is almost worth paying for. Ah, they've been getting on my nerves as it as is. You don't need to give me anything. Well, 
I just want to show you my appreciation. So take it anyway. In my in that case, I'll take you up on your offer. Now then, the only one left is Honda, and I hear he's pretty tough to take down. Watch yourself. This looks like the office we did that photo shoot in, in like what Yakuza Two or something like that. Or Yakuza One. I don't know which one it was. One of the Yakuza's. Okay, so we're just going north, huh? Finish taking these assholes out. Ah, there's the man I've been looking for. So, Koga, being the lazy motherfucker that he is, asked me to kick your ass. <laughs> But, regardless of the reason, I'd be happy to fight you either way. Heh. <laughs> I could go on like this forever, but why don't we catch up with our fists instead? Honda. Holy shit, dude. That guy hits like a fucking Mack truck. Damn, his, my health's halfway down already again. Like, he hit me, like, twice. Move your feet, Honda. Uh, okay, okay, I'm going. No need to shove. Well, if it isn't Honda, dragged in like the mud he is. Actually, he was pretty calm about the whole thing after I whooped his ass. Hey, you got me, Yagami san. What is this place? 800,000 yen, wasn't it? That's how much you owe Turtle Financing, so stop playing dumb and pay up already. Uh, is that what you wanted to talk to me about? Damn straight it is. Fine, I'll tell you what. So. You and me, another battle. You win, I give you money back. I win, I walk out of here free. How's that sound? Heh, <laughs> fine by me. That is, as long as the battle's in the courtroom, you'll be the defendant. What's this court talk all of a sudden? So I happen to be a certified lawyer who specifies, spe specializes in courtroom battles. You still want to go through with this? <sighs> well, shit. Take your goddamn money then. Thanks for all your help, you got me, son. Here's for all your trouble. Like we're best friends now. 
I appreciate it. Sure thing. I'm just amazed at how you were able to pull it off. Honda is no pushover, let me tell you. I mean, we even sent out a 10 of your very best men, and you took them all down in no time flat. <laughs> well, what can I say? Think twice before lending money to guys with that kind of rut. Yeah, looks like the turtle ha learned his lesson. That is all the money they owe you, right? Yes, sir. You really handed your business out there. Next time you're short in cash, you come talk to Kamaguchi, and I'll lend you whatever you need. My interest rates are low, and you can pay me back real slow. That's why they call me the Turtle Man. Hmm, that doesn't sound too bad, sort of. However, when it comes to time to collect, I tend to get aggressive. Guess I'm more like a snapping turtle. In that case, I'll make sure not to borrow anything in the first place. Hey, take it from me. You're better off not getting in debt in the first place. However, what I might need your help with is gathering information. You seem like you know your way around town. I could use a reference like you for some of the cases I handle. Sure, you just let me know how the particulars and I'll see what I can do. I'll get the rest of the staff to help out too. Yeah. Thanks, you'd be doing me a solid there. Oh, that's dope, Toasty. Huh? Good work, you got me, son. Way to send those key hen thugs packing. Everyone in town is practically cheering your name at this point. So we decided to leave you a little token of our gratitude. Check the delivery box in front of your office. It should still be there. Ooh, that settles it for now, I think. Hmm. They gotta be crowdfunding all this shit. Oh, they have a Star Wars? No, no, no. I see the ones on like Instagram or TikTok all the time. Let's go to our office. Yeah, I wanna see what was in our. Yeah, likely story. Get lost already. Lens flare is only J.J. Abrams, and there's Kaido-san doing what he does best. Huh? Is that guy in the loud shirt Yakuza or something? Probably. Adichie is shady as hell. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if he was hiring Yakuza. What do you mean, shady? You haven't heard the rumors? I've heard every negotiation his office gets involved with ends in threats. Yikes. I just can't ignore a rumor like that. Talk. Yo, talk. What's up? Hmm. Were those two guys talking hey. shit? They just didn't like your shirt. Anyways, how's the job going, Kaido-san? Staying out of trouble? Huh? Now, why would you ask that? Unless you think I'm the one causing trouble. No, no, I was just hearing Kaido. rumors. I think that's a wrap for today, Kaito. What do you say we grab beers? Oh, you got me, son? You should have told me you'd be stopping by. Hey. Come on, Kaido. Tender sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to grab a bite first. I'm starving. That room I heard is going to keep bugging me. It's probably nothing, but I think I should look into it. Maybe if I hit some spots where the locals gather, I could pick something up. Explosions make everything better. Right? I just want to see what we... Hello there, Tomioka-san. Uh, nice weather today? Ah, perfect timing, Ikami-kun. Mm -hmm. Why, what's going on? Well, I managed to lose the keys to the building's roller shutter, and now I can't get inside. Seriously? That's unfortunate. It is, I'm really not sure what to do. Mm. Well, you'll have to get it open somehow. Mm. 
I don't know. It doesn't take a detective to figure that out. Now, will it help me get this lock open? I'm sure you could do it. It'll be just like a crime drama. All you need is a knife and a roll of duct tape. Uh, I doubt it's actually that simple. And what show are you referencing anyways? It doesn't matter. Now, can't you at least try something? Well, I suppose. I didn't know Tomioka-san be, could be so demanding. I'd better get this open and quick. Nice. All right, it's open. I knew you could do it. Thanks a bunch, Yagami kun Sure, no problem. Well then, I'll be off now. Aren't you forgetting something? <sighs> something along the lines of three months rent? Y you know, the one thing I should... Would you mind waiting a little longer? Good grief. I'm not running a youth hostel here. Do you know buildings actually cost money to maintain? Amazing, I know. Actually, that gives me an idea. Should I be afraid to ask? You're an able-bodied young man, and you seem to be good at opening locks. Why don't you introduce... Why don't I introduce you to a locksmith I know? What for? I was thinking you could take a part-time job there, you know, to earn some extra money, like the kind you owe me. Aw, uh, do I have to? You sure do. In fact, I'm calling him right now. Gotta strike while the iron's hot. Hey, hold the phone. I only gave $1,000 to Blackjack and I, a bunch of Kickstarter campaigns, Odious. Hello? Koizuka-kun, sorry for the sudden call. You see, there's this tenant who lives in my building. Tomioka-san, what a pleasure it is to see you. Is he the one who told me you told me about? Yep, this here's Yagami-kun. What's that, Tomioka-san? You're looking at Toshiyara Kozuka, one of the finest locksmiths in Kamarucho, but I just call him Koziyuka-kun. Good to meet you, Igami san The pleasure's all mine. Now then, Igami kun work hard to earn your keep. <laughs> and regarding the details of our arrangement, just ask Kozuyuka kun Hope he doesn't work you to the bone. Exactly, Bob. Seriously, Tomioka san I know I'm a failure when it comes to paying rent, but hmm, I guess that's what why this happened. Mind if I start explaining how things work around yep. here? No, not at all. Whenever we get a job request, I'll pass it on to you. Then you'll head over to the client's place and open the lock in question. That's all there is to it. You can open locks, right? Y yeah. Good. I'm in my shop most hours, so come by when you're ready to get to work. Where is the shop of yours? It's on the north side of Senrio Avenue. You can look it up on the map. That's the locksmith place I kept going in with nothing there. Got it. I'll head over there the moment I'm free. Good. I'll be waiting for you. That's why he has to sneak in, Bob. So I'm working for Koziyuka, the locksmith now. That's a thing. Guess I'll head over there whenever I have some time. Yeah, we're going to learn that. You know, I'm doing this because of combat, but yeah. There you go. There you go, all my points. I'm in a concrete jungle. Where the fuck is that guy at? Uh...
club. I forget where this fucking place is. I have to go find it. Now you're just a cock dealer. Nine deals that cock, and he deals it good. Nine deals the dirtiest cock he can. He's like... Oh, we have to stay out of a hundred? Okay. Oh, we gotta go get that girl present and then go on a date with her. Fine, let's go get her present. The sausage. Nine delivers the finest sausage in all of the land. I did. I, I, I saw I saw something in nine that I believed in him. I believed in his sausage uh, abilities because they seemed grand. I have 168. I like I just I dumped so much money in a fucking uh uh f fucking uh what do you call them? Uh the quick starter things. Hey, hi, hi lady. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and ignore you. Sorry, I owe you three months' rent. I'm gonna go over here and do other things, including buying a watch or something for a date. Okay, when do we buy her? We got a suit. Oh, look at how bunch of a pimp we are. We a pimp. Wow, this really f is the perfect perfect fit. Just as I thought, it suits you quite superbly. It sure does. Are you sure you're gi just giving this away, okay, though? Of course. It's my way of saying thank you. I'm just happy you like it. Heck yeah. You really hooked it up. We hope our establishments continue to be in your favor. Definitely. I don't know how this we know that. It. What do we buy her? We could buy her a... Not one of those. We could buy her like a ring. Like this one. Let's buy her a ring. Now, where was that data? It was up here. Okay. I hear fucking Zelda's high pitched barks upstairs. I mean, Not a wise choice. I, that's what I got for saving them repeatedly. I have to go give that. I'm going on a date with a little, uh, the little uh, singer lady. I had to get her a present. I'm a pretty serious man, Toasty. Look at me. 